Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of DGS. We are now continuing into the second uh, episode with Asogi as the person in this perspective, and this is happening on the steamship before Case 2 started. And I guess he had an encounter with Sherlock Holmes. January 6, 6.23 p.m., the RMS Alacre, first class cabin, cabin one. It's been almost half a month since we departed from Japan. It went so quickly. The next port is Shanghai. Hmm? Knock, knock, knock. Donk, donk, donk. <laughs> Who is it? Who could it be at this hour? A detective. D detective? To be a touch more specific, a famous detective. A detective? It, it couldn't be. In any case, would you mind opening this door? R right. Sorry. Clatter. Um, has there been a crime? Wherever a famous detective goes, crimes are sure to follow. Yes, I myself am at the root of all sorts of evil. Not sure that's a good thing to claim, Sherlock. R right. He announced it without even batting an eye. Mere moments ago, abroad, aboard this very steamship, a vile theft took place. What? Did you know about the brief power outage that occurred a few moments ago? Yes, it only lasted about ten minutes, though. It was during that time period that the loathsome crime occurred. That mustn't be allowed to pass without punishment. Precisely. And the culprit fled into the first-class block of cabins. Huh? Th this block? The Antarctic crew may have been fooled, but no one can pull the wool over this famous detective's eyes. And so, to be on the safe side, I'd like to search this cabin. <laughs> That's... um... Oh, is there something in here you don't want investigated? Something I don't want investigated. I'd be lying if I said there wasn't. After all... There's a forbidden stowaway stashed in there. I'm the only one in this room. If you want to search somewhere, you might have better luck in the cabin next door, don't you think? Unfortunately, the, at, at the moment, the only occupied cabin in this first-class block is this one, Cabin 1. <laughs> uh. Was that pathetic stomach growling just now you? Surely it goes without saying. I'm the only other person in this room. In any case, it's nearly dinner time. Might I suggest that we continue this after that? Oh, my deepest apologies, but time is of the essence here! Pardon me! <laughs> he, he vanished? How did he get inside? Let me see, if the culprit were hiding somewhere in this room, it would probably be inside this closet, huh? I'd like to have a look inside. Naturally, you don't have any objections, correct? I apologize, but I must protest. There's nothing suspicious Achoo! in- Achoo! Achoo!
Were those two pathetic sounding sneezes just now? You! Sh surely it goes without saying. I'm the only other person in this room. Do you have some special technique that allows you to speak and sneeze at exactly the same time? And twice at that? <sighs> He's right. That's impossible. I was watching you the whole time. You didn't sneeze. Damn that bastard! Of all the times for him to... I'm afraid I'll have to insist on searching this closet. This is it. We're done for. Hmm, it appears there's no one in here after all. Eh? Uh, uh? Is something the matter? No, it's nothing. What the heck is going on here? I'm positive he was holed up in that closet. Donk a donk a donk. Huh? Another guest? Pardon me. First Mate Stroganov. Please excuse the commotion, but I'm afraid just now on the ship. Right, the loathsome theft, is it? Uh, how did you? No, I just heard about it from the detective a moment ago. The detective. I assume the crew had requested his services. The detective in question is right. <laughs> He's gone? Excuse me, but I need to request that you allow me to search the premises. He's glaring right at the closet. <laughs> yes, it's me, folks! What were you doing hiding in my closet? What? I was merely investigating the possibility of hiding inside. If it were no longer than five minutes, it should be possible to conceal oneself in here. And yet he's been stuck inside for a week already. Is this man trying to say he isn't human? What the hell is wrong with you? Shh. All mysteries have just been unraveled by these famous detective eyes of mine. What? Don't tell me you... The person responsible for the lonesome theft was, just as I suspected, hiding inside that closet. Does that make you the culprit? Eh? Impossible. After all, that's... where my friend has been hiding all this time. And just how do you know that? It's elementary. He left definitive evidence of his presence. Yes. Three bones. Ah! What's going on here? It's true. There really are some picked clean bones inside. And three of them at that. Damn it! We've been had! Curse that thief! He won't get away with this! Pardon me, detective, but may I ask you something? Certainly! What might that be? I welcome questions with open arms. What on earth was it that was stolen? I should think that's quite obvious. It was T-Bone's steak! Eh? T-Bone? A short while ago, three steaks that were to be served for tonight's dinner were stolen. Thanks to some engine trouble, we lost power for about ten minutes. 
The only light on the ship was provided by candles, but according to the victim, the chef, the culprit fled into the first class cabin block. So, we gave chase right away. But the culprit seems to have already vacated the premises. No? Let's open the cabin door here. After the culprit finished eating the T-bone steaks in the closet, he hid in the shadow of the door that was open and allowed for your entry. Then, while we were occupied with this closet, he fled the cabin. The what? Now then, folks, let us give chase. Follow me. What, the what is it, first mate? What if the culprit hasn't escaped yet? Huh? What do you mean? Come now, sir. There's no point in playing dumb. Y you think it was me? That's right! If we assume that you are the thief, it explains everything. <laughs> the thief vanishing into first class cabin block. Bones heated in the closet. All the clues point to you! R ridiculous! I'd never do such a... Yes, yes, I know. You're not the thief. Huh? D why not? How do you know that? Listen up now, junior crewman. There are only two things in the world that you can trust. What? One is the words of the famous detective that stands before you. And the other is... His stomach growls. <laughs> the pitifully hungry cries of an empty stomach, see? Uh, not again. When I arrived at this cabin, that empty stomach of his was making such a painful racket that I couldn't even have believably pretended not to have heard it. There's no there's simply no way that he could still be that hungry after eating three T-bone steaks. Why do I, in spite of being innocent, have to suffer such humiliation? Damn it! Let's chase him down! He couldn't have gone far! Indeed! So long as he didn't decide to take a dip in the ocean for some post-meal exercise. Well, we'll be taking our leave now. Sorry for all the excitement. Ah, detective. One moment, please. Yes? Um, that was some impressive reasoning. Maybe you wouldn't mind telling me your name? Ah, I didn't introduce myself. I'm... or I am, rather. The one and only Sherlock Holmes. I'm Asogi Kazuma. I'm on my way to Great Britain as an exchange student. Mr. Asogi, hmm? Ah, right. I forgot to mention. Yes? I just thought I should warn you. Smuggling living creatures onto the steamship is strictly forbidden. Make sure you keep the one huddled under the bed well hidden. Ah. Under the bed. Now then, I bid you good evening, Mr. Asogi. Busted. I suppose I should have expected that from a famous detective. So then... When the hell did you get under the bed? I love these two. When you opened that closet, I thought we were done for. Yeah, it was all thanks to you. Me? You distracted him for a moment, right? You were saying something along the lines of, you should check the cabin across the hall. Oh, you're right. He was looking toward the hallway then, wasn't he? I wasn't able to get a look at the detective, but basically I thought, this is my chance, 
And the next thing I knew, I was under the bed. You had me really worried for a second there. Honestly. In any case... What was all that about T-Bone Steaks? Uh, uh... I'm really sorry. I was just so incredibly hungry. Ever since we set sail from Japan, I've been crammed inside that closet. And every meal is half-sized portions. You're hungry too, right? Pipe the hell down, stomach. We had a short loss of power earlier that... earlier. That lasted about ten minutes, right? Yeah, so that really was you when you did it, huh? I could smell something amazing. So, basically I thought to myself, this is my chance! And the next thing I knew, the meat was in my hands. It was probably things like this guy they were trying to keep out with their no-carry-ons policy. But even so, three whole steaks seems like a bit much. As the voice actor, I would just like to say three steaks is absolutely nothing to me. Unless they're porterhouses, in which case, well, one's enough to put me in a coma. Thanks to you, three passengers won't get their meat tonight. It was one. Eh? I only took one T-bone steak from the kitchen. Wh what I'm not that cruel, you know. If I'd stolen three, I would have left at least one for you. Don't say it like I'm a dog that you're feeding. So then, who the heck took the other two? Uh, what if... Th this ship is... Haunted! But but by a meat-loving ghost! At the time when Naruhoto relocated to under the bed, there'd only been one steak bone in the closet. There's only one person who could have left the other two bones there. <laughs> What's so funny? We're up against a g ghost, you know? Famous detective, or a mischievous imp. I wouldn't mind getting the chance to have a proper conversation with him sometime. The Sherlock Holmes, huh? I love how every Japanese person in this game keeps messing up Sherlock Holmes' name. Ah, <laughs> oh, Naruto, please! Man-eating ghost. I mean, meat-eating ghost, not man-eating. Holy shit, that is even more of a nightmare. <laughs> Alright, that's it for that episode, and we shall go into the next one in the next video! So I'll see you guys then! Bless Sogi. Wh what were you doing in my closet? If this is your version of coming out of the closet, I... I have to admit, sir, I'm not really interested in you. I'm actually interested in a friend of mine who was on board shit. I just revealed him. You will not turn to the dark side by eating chicken, Asogi. You will not turn down to the dark side. Your voice actor has already done that. And look how his life turned out. Narhoto, I decided I'm going to cut off your head and become the new protagonist. Just hold still for me, buddy.